Well, African Zanzibar Island is located off the coast of Tanzania, and it's one of the world's leading producers of seaweed. The aquatic, aquatic plant like algae is the third largest contributor to the lands, the island's economy. But as, as Sophie Tremblay reports, rapidly warming ocean temperatures are threatening the industry. Sihaba Mustafa has farmed seaweed in these waters for 28 years. At low tide, she ties seaweed branches to a rope. She then plants the strands row by row in the ocean with wooden pegs. After six weeks of growing in the water, Mustafa returns to harvest the seaweed. She depends on the income to provide for her family. The harvest pays for our medical expenses and for the children's school fees. After the seaweed's collected and dried on the beaches of Zanzibar, it's then exported to Europe and North America, where the gel it produces, carrageenan, is used in common household items like toothpaste and ice cream. Zanzibar is the third biggest exporter of seaweed in the world, but in recent years, exports have fallen by 30 percent. Zanzibar's leading expert on seaweed says rising ocean temperatures are to blame for the decline. Global climate change is really affecting the seaweed farming here. Uh, the seaweed that we farm usually require water temperatures between 25 to maximum 30 degrees. But nowadays you can measure even 38 degrees and uh, such high temperatures uh, will, will kill the seaweed. Mustafa used to farm seaweed all year round, but she's now only able to harvest a few months a year. For now, I don't have any worries because it's the rainy season and the seaweed is growing well, but the problems will come during the hot season because all the seaweed will die in the hot sun. The seaweed farming industry employs more than 20,000 people, mostly women, and is the main source of income for many families in Zanzibar. Every day you will find prices for other commodities are rising, but for seaweed, the price is falling. And that leads us farmers to get many challenges because we need to support our children. Ms. Yuya and her team have been working with the Tanzanian government to come up with ways to cope. One of the things that we saw is that if the seaweed is farmed in the deep waters, the seaweed can grow better in the, in the deep waters. But for the farmers to go into the deep waters, they need the means of going there. They need the boats. The women cannot swim, so maybe they would need uh, life jackets. Mustafa says if the warming trend continues, she'll have to find another way to provide for her family. Sophie Trombley for VOA in Zanzibar.